Hello traders, today's video is gonna be on Quant Tower, a platform that I really should have covered before because I think that this is, again, one of those platforms that's gonna give you an enormous edge uh, for free. So without further ado, let's dive into the wonders of Quant. Hello traders and welcome to my first video on Quant Tower. So I'm going to try not to make this video like uh, 20 million minutes long, but Quant Tower is a platform where you can do analysis and you can do live trading for free, um, mostly for free, but I think they have a, a few premium features, mostly for free on really, really low latency. So without further ado, let's just dive right in, dive right into the good old Quant Tower. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to click on uh, the, the top tab. You actually can't see it because my, comput my computer is being really wonky. But in the top part of your Quant Tower, you're going to see a bunch of things. And you're going to want to click where it says Binance, where we're going to change the um, where we're going to change the connection. And then once you click on the uh, one that is Binance, let me show you guys what that, um, that looks like. It looks like this. Good. We're actually going to look at all the other ones that we can do. And we are going to get, let's do FTX. So in order to add this, what you do is we're going to hit plus. It's going to say FTX plus one. We have info, meaning it's just for analysis, base, basically. And I'm going to hit connect. And now I'm going to, let me switch this back. And then after you hit the uh, connect, it will uh, change over to a different exchange. So that is how you can... Um, switch to different platforms to look at their data and such. And again, you can't see this, but it's on the top part where it says like charts, uh, DSF, um, Binance, Rhythmic, and so on. Okay, so now let's look at some of the indicators that uh, that, that they have here. So there, there are a lot of things that you can do here. One that I found pretty cool is, is time statistics. And what time statistics shows you is uh, you can get a lot of different things like max delta, um, min delta and, and just a whole lot of other stuff. So I found I found that to be quite cool. Another thing you can get is indicators. So if we click that, uh, oops, not that. Um, indicators. If you click indicators, you can get. Um, are you guys seeing that? Let me show you that. Um, yeah, my PC is being super super wonky, so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me here. But if you click the indicators tab, which is on the upper left of the chart where it shows like a little bit of a step ladder. You can add a lot of different things. So I could add like level two data. I could add Delta flow. Like, I don't even know what Delta flow is, but it's going to pop up. Like uh, you can add that. And I'm actually going to mute time and sales because it's being kind of annoying. Yeah, so Delta flow, we can see, you know, where the big sellers are coming in, where the big buyers are coming in and so forth. We can see a lot of selling right here. We can see a lot of selling here. We can see just that this has basically been dominated by the sellers. And if we zoom into the 12 hour, last 12 hours of trading, you can kind of see it's still pretty much dominated by the sellers so far. Um, another really, really cool feature that I, uh, I want to show you guys is if you go to the top left, again, you can't see this on my screen, but if you put your cursor up here where it says DSF and you click DSF, you're going to find something that uh, is pretty, pretty cool. And let me show you guys exactly what that looks like when I switch uh, my capture over to it. But really what this is, is basically... Uh, this is basically like book map. Yeah. I found this just to be just super, super cool. So let's change this to BTC perp. And then we basically have book map for BTC perp. And you can make trades on this. You can make trades on this in a million different ways. You know, right click. Uh, oops. And um, you could be inputting trades at this latency if, if you would like. But you can see just how quickly this data is um, is operating. It's it's quite quite quick. Like to the second data, you know? So I found that this to be to be quite helpful. So that is one thing that um, that you can use if if you are a fan of more of my book map uh, videos. So I'm gonna switch you guys back to to this. Also, depth of market, which is probably a little bit um, slower, but um, depth of market is another thing that you can look at. And uh, let me show you guys this. I'm filming this on my PC because I, I couldn't get this on my Mac. Um, yeah, I'm like, so I'm like struggling with OBS right now. If if, if any of you guys who record know um, OBS, 
but looks like uh, looks like it's not cooperating with me today, but that's okay. But if you go to Dom Trader, which is in the upper left where it says DOM, that's where you can get even more um, data as well. So yeah, I uh, th there are a million things I could show you guys on this platform, but I, I would say that the most important for you guys to focus on if, if you want to make money from this is probably probably focus on volume. So focus on Delta flow, focus on some other indicators such as where did the largest buying occur? Where did the largest selling occur? What percent of um, buy, what percent of orders are buys? What percent of orders are sells? And what is the average buy size? And what is the average sell size? Those are things you should definitely be focusing on. I even think that that's more important to look at than order depth. To look at um, past transactions, past market orders is more important than order depth. Order depth. And then another thing that you could look at if you would like to scalp is to look at the DSF, which is the thing I was showing you before, which basically just gives you like a book map um, ability to to use. Yeah. And I mean, there are a lot of other trading th things you can do on this as well. Like you place orders on this order entry right here, flatten positions. And you, there's even buttons for like close your negative positions, close your positive positions, close positions with the positive PL. So this probably would work well for traders who want to invest or trade a lot of cryptos at once, and then maybe have them all tiered up here. The one con of this platform, the one I'd say not so good part is that this is quite um, advanced. So if you're a new trader, this might not be the platform for you. But if you're more of a trader who's been you know through the thick of it and uh, is still here, I'd say that this is an excellent platform for you to try out. And uh, yeah, I really think that Quant Tower, there's just, there's just so much potential here for just a lot of really, really, really cool stuff. And uh, it's too bad that my like computer was being just really, really weird <laughs> and I couldn't show you guys like everything. But if you go to the top left, uh, if you go to the very top left, you can see where, where it right now has like a Santa hat on. If you click that Santa hat, you get just a bunch of other things as well. So without further ado, I'm going to actually end the video here and uh, I want you guys to comment anything that you want to know more about Quant Tower, or also comment your experience with with using Quant Tower. So far, I'm pretty impressed, and I'm definitely going to be trading on here uh, in the future. Um, I I don't have any affiliation with the Quant Tower team. I just made this video because I found that it was a really good integration for those who trade on Binance, Binance Futures, and FTX. And uh, beyond just this video, look at all of the other indicators that they offer as well, because I think that those are going to give you a much greater edge. Um, because this is free and this is giving you the edge of platforms that are typically paid. So without further ado, hop into Quant Tower and I'll see you guys in the Discord chat. Happy trading.